We we'll begin with breaking news. A Cape Coral man is grieving the loss of his teenage daughter tonight. This girl that you see smiling brightly was found dead and dismembered after going on a date in Wisconsin. She was a good soul, good spirit. She did not deserve what this. I know God uh, doesn't make mistakes. But this is one. This is all I want. Thanks for joining us on the night. Be at 11. I'm Russ McCaskey. I'm Amanda Hall. This story is horrifying for parents and for young women to hear. This is 19 year old Shade Robinson. The Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office says her severed leg was found at a park last week after she went missing on April 1st. Deputies say she went on a date with 33 year old Maxwell Anderson, then never showed up for work the next day. Tonight, Anderson is charged with first degree intentional homicide, mutilating a corpse and arson. The night beats Amy Gallo joins us live outside Ida Baker High School where Sade went to school for a couple of years. And Amy, you spoke exclusively with her father who is still in Cape Coral. What does he want the community to know about her life? He wants everyone to know what a beautiful and kind hearted soul his daughter was. He shared a story with me of a time that he and Sade went to the fair together and he had just given her her allowance and on the way there she noticed a man on the side of the road with a sign who seemed like he needed some help. So she begged her dad to roll down the window and proceeded to give that man her entire allowance. Her dad says this is just one of the many stories that he can tell to show what a good soul his daughter was. Ask anybody about Shaw Day Carlina Robinson, and you're sure to hear about her beautiful smile. She's just like me, like the lab, put smiles on people's face. A beautiful smile her father will never get to see again. She was a good soul, good spirit. She did not deserve what this, I know God uh, doesn't make mistakes. This is, this is all I want. 19 year old Shaw Day was found dead and dismembered about two weeks after going on a first date in Wisconsin where she lived. I was still hoping <clears throat> that my little girl was still here. That's all I had to hope for. And uh, when he called me and told me that my DNA was a match, my world crashed down. And it did for everyone who knew her. She was somebody who did not deserve that. What well, happened to her? You know, I, I, I can't even imagine why someone would, 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 would want to hurt her like that. Shade graduated high school and was pursuing a college degree. She was in college. She was in college for uh, criminal justice. She was actually supposed to graduate next month. And then she wanted to go to the Air Force. Now everyone is left grieving what should have been. She was my oldest. She was my first child. That little girl changed my life. She was my everything. And I got a pain in my heart that won't stop. It's like this, like this emotion. It's like a physical pain. Both Shade's father and her friend now hope that the man who did this gets what he deserves. And as for her friend John Trey, he told me he hopes that man rots in prison. Live of the Night Beat, Amy Gallo, Wink News.